In this video, we will show you how you can position an XG86 or XG106 as an alternative replacement of the Sophos RED devices with some additional functionalities and capabilities, especially if split tunneling is required. The XG base license includes RED site-to-site -site VPN tunnel functionality and offers the same benefit as the RED devices. This is the network diagram we are using as an example to show the deployment process. The London head office has an XG135W device deployed as the perimeter firewall, having its local LAN network resources in the 172.16.17.0-24 subnet range. With the help of light touch functionality offered by Sophos Central, we will deploy a new XG86 device in the Mumbai branch office network and use the same to configure a red site-to-site -site tunnel between both the locations so that the branch office users can securely access the head office LAN network resources. So first, let us see the steps to configure the XG86 device from Sophos Central. Open the website central.sophos.com from the web browser and enter the credentials to log into the dashboard page. Navigate to My Products Firewall Management, click on Add Your Firewall, and select Add a New Firewall option to add the new unregistered XG86 firewall. Enter the serial number of the XG86 device in the text box and click on the Next button. It will create a new My Sophos Customer Portal account for this email ID. Confirm the serial number, XG model, and then click on Register and Proceed. Enter the first name and last name and click on the Next button. In this video, we are assuming that the My Sophos Customer Portal account does not exist for this customer. Hence, click on Create Account and Register Firewall so that it will create a new MySofos account and register the device. A confirmation message will be displayed on the screen and the user will also receive an email to activate the account and set up a new password to log in to the MySofos account. Click on Next. Accept the license agreement and click on Continue. Select the appropriate time zone. It will show the current license status associated with the XG device. Click on Continue. Configure the IP address as 192.168.30.1 with a subnet mask of slash 24 for the LAN port and enable the DHCP option if the XG device has to lease the IP address to the branch office LAN network resources. Optionally, you may enable the security features like Sandstorm, IPS, and AV scanning, and then click on Continue. It will show a summary of the configuration. Click on the Finish button. Now configure the WAN port of the XG device for internet connectivity by clicking on the Internet Settings option. You can either configure a static IP or select the Dynamic IP option for the WAN port and optionally configure a DNS IP address, and finally click on Apply. Click on the Download option to save the Light Touch configuration file, and then click on the Next button. Click on Continue Without Waiting if you are not going to deploy the XG86 device immediately at the branch office. It will show the XG86 device registered in the Firewalls section of the Central Account. After clicking on the activation link received via email and setting up the password, you can log in to the MySophos Customer Portal account to manage the licenses of the XG86 device. Navigate to Network Protection View Devices and then click on the serial number of the XG device. Select the required evaluation license modules that you want to activate and click on the Try Now option. If you already have the subscription key of the device, then click on Add Subscription to enter the license key and activate it. Copy the Light Touch configuration file to an empty USB stick. Now insert the USB stick into the USB slot of the XG86 
and also plug in the internet connection cable on the WAN port before powering on the device. Once the XG86 loads the configuration from the USB stick and gets an internet connection, in the Sophos Central account it will show the status as Approval Pending. Click on Accept Services so that it gets integrated with the Sophos Central account successfully. After the device is synchronized with the central account, it will show the current firmware version and the public IP address of the branch office location. Click on the name of the firewall to automatically SSO into the device web UI, and it will display the same options that are available when the administrator accesses the device locally. Once the dashboard page is loaded, it will automatically show a pop-up message window to set up the administrator password. Click on the Set Password option. Enter the new administrator password and then click on Apply. Now let us see the steps to configure red site-to-site -site tunnels between Branch Office XG86 and the Head Office XG135W. First, on the Head Office XG135W device, navigate to Configure System Services Red and enable the Red Status Toggle Switch. Enter the required details and click on the Apply button to enable the Red service. Then navigate to Configure Network Interfaces and click on the Add Red option. Enter an appropriate name for the red interface. Select the type as Firewall Red Server and Tunnel ID as Automatic. Enter the red IP as 10.10.10.11 with the subnet mask as slash 24. The zone as LAN and then click on the Save option. After the red interface is created, download the red provisioning file that needs to be uploaded on the Branch Office XG86 device later on. To route the split tunneling traffic via the red interface, navigate to Configure, Routing, Static Routing, and click on the Add button. Enter the Branch Office LAN network IP as 192.168.30.0 with a subnet mask of slash 24, and select the red interface before clicking on the Save button. The red interface also belongs to the LAN zone, so we need to create a firewall rule to allow the traffic. Since this head office XG135W device is running on version 18 firmware, navigate to Protect, Rules and Policies, Firewall Rules, Add Firewall Rule and select the New Firewall Rule option. Enter an appropriate name, select the rule position and group, set the action as Accept, and the logging option to Enabled. Select the Source Zone as LAN, the Destination Zone also as LAN, and then click on the Save button. So this completes the configuration of the Head Office XG device. Now on the Branch Office XG86, navigate to Configure, System Services, Red, and enable the Red Status Toggle Switch. Enter the required details and click on the Apply button to enable the Red service on the device. Then navigate to Configure, Network, Interfaces, and click on the Add Red option. Enter an appropriate name, select the type as Firewall Red Client, and enter the public IP or dynamic DNS hostname of the head office XG135W device. Upload the red provisioning file that was previously downloaded from the head office device. Enter the red IP as 10.10.10.12, subnet mask as slash 24, zone as LAN, and then click on the Save option. To route the split tunneling traffic via the red interface, navigate to Configure, Routing, Static Routing, and click on the Add button. Enter the Head Office LAN network IP of 172.16.17.0 with a subnet mask of slash 24 and select the red interface before clicking on the Save button. 
we need to create a firewall rule to allow the traffic flow. So navigate to Protect Firewall Add Firewall Rule and select the User Network Rule option. Enter an appropriate name, select the rule position and group, and set the action as Accept. Select the Source Zone and the Destination Zone as LAN. Enable the Logging option, and then save the firewall rule. Once the red tunnel is connected between both devices, on the Branch Office XG it will show the remote IP address as the public IP of the Head Office XG device. Similarly, the Head Office XG device will show the uplink IP of the red tunnel as the public IP address of the Branch Office location. So in this way, we can configure red site-to-site -site split tunnel between the branch office and head office networks so that the traffic destined to the head office LAN resources would only traverse via the red tunnel, and the rest of the internet traffic would go out from the WAN port of the device. Additionally, with the network protection license on the XG86 device, you can use security features such as intrusion prevention systems, or IPS, as well as Advanced Threat Protection, or ATP. These can be used to scan outbound internet traffic and protect the networks from intrusion attacks and block communication with known command and control servers. This is especially helpful in split tunnel deployments to secure the traffic and offload the security scanning from the head office firewall for all internet bound traffic, thus improving performance for both the branch office and the head office firewalls. To enable ATP, navigate to Protect, Advanced Threat, Advanced Threat Protection, and enable the toggle switch. Select the policy as Log and Drop so that it will log the C2 traffic and instantly block it as well. Once the C2 traffic is blocked, from the dashboard widget, it will show the type of threat and the source IP associated with that C2 traffic. For IPS scanning, you can create a new LAN to WAN firewall rule and select the LAN to WAN policy, as it contains most of the generic IPS signatures associated with outbound traffic. Additionally, with the help of the web protection license on the XG86 device, you can do web filtering as well as application filtering in the branch office local policies. This will reduce the load of web and application filtering on the head office XG device. To configure the web filtering and application filtering, you can edit the existing LAN to WAN firewall rule and select the predefined policies such as default workplace policy for the web policy and the Block Generally Unwanted Apps for the Application Control Policy. Once this is configured, the user will not be able to access websites or applications that are blocked by the administrator. Optionally, if you migrate the XG devices to the new version 18, you get additional advantages in Sophos Central integration features, such as Group Management in Central Management, as well as Central Firewall Reporting, or CFR. In your Sophos Central account, for each branch office location, a new group can be created. Then, the XG firewalls belonging to those groups will automatically receive the policy and security configurations associated with that group. This is very helpful for MSP customers and partners as they can easily create groups for various types of customers across different locations and maintain consistent security and policy configurations from a single pane of glass console, which is firewall management. Central Firewall Reporting is a cloud-based reporting solution available in Sophos Central, and it provides the flexibility to create custom historical reports on network activity. You can also customize and create your own reports by selecting from a broad range of category options and chart types to create hundreds of unique variations. For more information about Central Firewall Reporting, feel free to go through these links. We hope you liked this video and thank you for watching.